Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, around the 29th. We're going to get one of these just to start out for the heck of it. What do we got for the 29th? What do we have for around the 29th? We know that the timing is fluid. One card, please. Discover your life purpose. So that's interesting. It happens to be a 29. 29 is a pretty significant number. It means that, this, that we're at the end of a situation. Okay? We'll read this at the end. Discover your life purpose. I can tell you what your life purpose is about. You want to know? Love. That's what it's about. This guy looks like he's serenading. What do we have? What do we have for the 29th? Interesting. Somebody is going to be learning something on the 29th. They are. They're going to be learning something about what it means, what, what what means the most to them. The 29th is going to be very significant. Obviously, that is the 29th. Interesting, huh? If you think about 29 degrees, and I know about 29 degrees because I was born at 29 degrees of Taurus. It's a very karmic number. Anybody born at 29 degrees, it's about karma and fate. So the 29th might be a very karmic day. Okay. Nine of Swords. Now the Nine of Swords is, this is it, regrets. Somebody may be having extreme regrets. Maybe they're regretting what they've done. You know. That's what it looks like to me. There's probably going to be some extreme regret, sadness on this day. Somebody is probably feeling guilty. Judgment. Judgment on this day. So this could be judgment day. Judgment. Now this is the truth. This is an awakening. Again, both. Of you, look at the hands on the head. Okay, this is, is okay. We got hands on the head here and hands on the head here. We have somebody here that is feeling extremely guilty, sad, uh, stressed out, worried, um, uh, distraught. Okay, we have somebody here that is, is feeling distraught over their actions. Okay, definitely over their actions because now they may be being questioned for what they have done. This is a spiritual awakening of some sort. This is being held accountable. Truth is being revealed. Now, this is the card of karma. Judgment is the card of karma, judgment and justice. Now, this is a wake-up call. Are you ready to be judged? Because this is a judgment day by the looks of things. Will you be accepted? So we have somebody here that is, is feeling guilty or they're having a lot of regrets for doing whatever they did. Maybe they're hoping for forgiveness and they're, they're really worried that they won't be forgiven. Maybe it's, maybe, you know, we have a life changing decision that is being made. Somebody may have been in hot water or they may be in hot water and now it's judgment day. Seven of Cups. Now, Seven of Cups, this is uh, poor choices, illusion, fantasy, choose wisely. Somebody made a poor choice, and now they. Ha this is a card of consequences. 
and this one is too. There it is. Somebody is suffering the consequences of their poor decisions. They just were not aware. They were not aware. We could have somebody here that had hidden agendas. They weren't awake. But now they are. They weren't awake. This is lack of awakening. And this is a wake-up call. So, you know, somebody is getting a wake-up call. There's a secret also or a truth that is about to be revealed. Okay, this is a secret being revealed and this is a truth being revealed. So there is a truth that is about to be revealed and somebody is going to probably be really uh, regretful of their actions when this truth get revealed. Truth gets revealed, it's going to be like, oh my God, everybody knows. So yeah, somebody was trying to hide something and I feel like whatever it is, they can't hide it. It can't be hidden. It can't be hidden. Well, the star reversed and the eight of pentacles reversed. Now somebody didn't put in effort. They gave up prematurely. They didn't work hard enough. They gave up. When the going got rough, they just gave up. And now they're feeling hopeless. Somebody is feeling hopeless. And they're feeling definitely sad. They're feeling sad because, you know, they made a poor choice. They made a wrong choice. They're probably hoping for a reconciliation. Hoping for a chance. Hoping to you know, revive a situation. That's what they're hoping for. But I feel like it's a hopeless situation. And maybe they're, that's what they're feeling. They're feeling hopeless. Extreme regrets here, seriously. Perhaps whoever it is that they betrayed has risen. This person has risen up. They've risen from the ashes. They are no longer down. They've, they've uh, forgiven and, and reached their a, a better place. But now this person that had hidden agendas and had tricks up their sleeve is feeling very regretful over not putting in effort when they should have. We have despair here. Somebody may be feeling ashamed. Now there's there's there they're, they're, they're now they're experiencing some karma. It's like it's like their wishes didn't get granted. Their wishes aren't being granted because of whatever they did, whatever poor choice they made. Now they're not having the success that they were hoping for. What goes around comes around. And karma works in mysterious ways. Now this eight of pentacles reverse, somebody could be losing their job or losing a big job or losing some money, losing something that pays the bills. There's lack of spirituality here as well. Reluctant to take a new approach. We have somebody here that is in, you know, was, is, is very, this person was, and well, they're getting a wake up call now. This person was not spiritual. This person was asleep. This person was, uh, delusional. They were very troubled, unable to look at things from a new perspective unable to ask for help very prideful very very prideful this person is now suffering some consequences for giving up on a situation giving up giving up this person didn't put in effort This is like, why, 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 why? Somebody may be asking that question. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? This is happening because karma never loses an address. 
Somebody is experiencing a karmic setback for making a poor choice in the past. Something is about to be revealed that is going to really make somebody ask why, why, why is this happening? Well, let me tell you, this is happening because you made a poor choice. You made a poor decision. You didn't act with integrity. You didn't put an in effort into something when you should have. You gave up prematurely. Unexpected choice here. Unexpected choice in love when you get the lover's card. This is also a card of consequences. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. There's going to be a choice here. There's been a choice. Somebody made a choice and they it's like they, they took the easy route. I feel like we have somebody that is hoping for a reconciliation with somebody that they are a soulmate connection with. Hoping for a reconciliation. It's like now they realize that was a soulmate. They realize that was a kindred spirit. They realize that was a connection. There could be. There absolutely could be a reconciliation. Coming up. We could have somebody that is... Not understanding why. This could be the third party that is like, why? Why is this happening? Because somebody tried to fill a void. They didn't take time to heal. They jumped into a relationship, you know, just to uh, fantasy, disillusionment, just to fill a void. And now there's a, there's some sort of pain, okay, up there, obviously, with the Nine of Swords. There is definitely some sort of pain. Somebody is suffering some sort of pain for somebody's poor decision. Anyway, somebody is going to be making a choice in between two lovers in the near future, okay? And there could be a reconciliation that is coming. A reconciliation between kindred spirits. It's like these people are meant to be, but somebody didn't put an effort when they should have, and they're probably feeling pretty guilty for doing so. Um, I feel as though uh, it's, it, reluctant can't move on. I just can't move on from this partnership. Somebody can't move on. They can't move on because the connection is so deep. But there's consequences here. I feel like we have somebody here that is having regrets, obviously, but the other person has already risen. They've already risen from this betrayal. They've already risen from the ashes. They've already accepted and forgiven and moved on. So I feel like, you know, expect the unexpected in regards to love. There is going to be a new love connection, and it could be somebody from the past. It really could. Somebody is definitely wishing they would have put in effort. They may have been wishing that they didn't move on. They are probably wishing that they didn't choose somebody so quickly. Oh, forgiveness. Somebody is probably going to be asking for forgiveness. They may want to leave the past hurts behind and start over. So, I, you know, I don't know who's reading this is for, but it feels like somebody has had some sort of awakening. And there could be a reconciliation between soulmates. And soulmates can come in many forms. It doesn't have to be lovers. It could be in however way you see it. But we definitely have extreme regrets for making a poor choice because some it's like somebody, I, I also feel like somebody is losing. They're losing something. It's too late. It's like it's too late. Perhaps the person that they neglected has found somebody else. Has a new lover. And that's why this person is so upset. They're heartbroken. 
But I do feel as though um, there is something that is about to be revealed. It's almost like forgiveness. There is forgiveness here. Do you forgive me? Can you forgive me? Can we start over? That kind of thing. Somebody has extreme regrets over not putting in effort when they should have. And I think they got themselves involved. Somebody has a new lover here. Somebody got themselves involved with the wrong one on the rebound. And they know that they broke another person's heart. They know that. And they probably know that this person has healed. This person has healed. And now they're now they're looking back with all these regrets because it's too late. <clears throat> so anyway, I feel as though we have somebody here that is on the path to recovery. They have been through the been through the pain, they have been through the hurt, they have risen from the ashes, and now the past wants to come back. And it could be accepted. It could be. There's an opportunity for kindred spirits to reconcile here. There is. Should you choose to give this person another chance. There is also somebody that is regretting uh, hurting. They're regretting hurting another person. Well, obviously it's the same thing. They're regretting what they did. And they don't want to move on. It's like they don't want to move on. They don't want to move on because it's a soulmate connection. They've been in a situation where they've been pretending to be happy. But I feel like now, now it's like they don't want to play games anymore. They just don't, they don't want to play games. They're just fed up and they just want to, they, they want to, they want to unite. They want to, they want to fall in love. So anyway, I feel like in the upcoming future, um, we have somebody here that is going to be connecting with a somebody. You now, this is a past life and this is a soulmate. There is going to be an unexpected opportunity in love with a past life soulmate. That is what is coming. This is leaving the past hurts behind, rising from the ashes, and falling in love. Let's read this card. On the 29th. Start asking yourself, what is the meaning of your life? As a soul who is, who is having a physical experience, you are here to grow and learn. You are being asked to immerse yourself in this life by expanding, stretching, and understanding your reasons for being here. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following her or his destiny. Your guides, angels, and higher self are constantly communicating with you through signs, feelings, people, books, etc. Follow your hunches. You are being given important guidance, which may show up via a strong feeling to travel somewhere, to speak to someone, write, paint, etc. No matter how far-fetched your inner guidance is, you need to listen. Your soul's purpose includes a combination of experiences that your mind doesn't understand, but your soul needs to process to learn and grow. Some of these experiences will be enjoyable and heightened. Others will be challenging and cause you to struggle. But through them, you will know yourself. Give yourself permission to focus on what really makes your heart sing and put your intensity of emotion into attracting what you desire. 
follow your heart. There is an opportunity for love here. Somebody is going to get an unexpected choice in love. But you notice a choice. What is a choice? A choice between two. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be unhappy. You can choose to live in regret or you can choose to live in truth. The choice is yours. So I feel like we have somebody here that is giving up on a false contract and headed towards the real one. Good luck.